Well, hey, friend, welcome back to the podcast. This is podcast episode number 220. The one where I might have a vulnerability hangover afterwards because I can't even really believe that I'm about to tell you the story that I'm about to tell you. <laughs> Let me just tell you. Have you ever done something in your life or your business where you know darn good and well, this is not a good idea. This is not a good plan. But what if like there's this 1% chance that it's maybe not a bad plan? What if there's like this sliver of a smidgen of a possibility, just like this little tiny possibility that it actually could work, even though everything inside of you is screaming, this is probably not gonna work. Uh, anybody, is it just me, just me? Well, I wanna tell you the story of how um, I just, let's, let's just call it tested something for you guys in terms of getting verified on Instagram. And I wanna tell you how this situation went totally sideways, okay? And what not to do and uh, why you should do as I say and not as I do and all those other things. But it, this is gonna be fun. And hopefully I won't regret this. <laughs> in the morning. So should you pay for somebody to verify you on Instagram? Da, da, da. Now, if you're like, what's verify mean? Well, it means like you have a blue check mark behind your name. Why would you want a blue check mark behind your name? Well, because that's like the sign of being an authentic, you know, um, influencer or um, public figure or big business or looks like you made it. And see, that's that's right there why they never asked me to actually sing at church. Right there. That was it. That was it. That's This is why I don't sing and I coach for a living. Um, and so being verified is always a good thing. Let me just say that. I've been verified on Facebook for like five years. I've had a blue check mark behind my name on Facebook for five years. Why would you want to be verified on Instagram? It's credibility. That's all it is. It's street cred. It's social cred. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. And, um, and so we're going to talk about what people will actually do for a verification, including myself, and um, what you shouldn't do, okay, in just a second. But first, I just want to read you this quick review while you get ready to forward this podcast to all of your girlfriends who are trying to get verified on Instagram so they know what not to do. Let me read you this quick review from Carrie, who owns a company called Rocking Care Box. And here's what she said. I'm so stinking thankful for the podcast. And Jennifer, I'm an SLP. I have been for over 20 years and now it's time to claim the territory, episode 95. The knowledge I'm gaining through Jennifer's podcast was an answer to prayer in which I asked God for help. He is my CEO. I recommend it to anyone interested in growing their business the right way. Well, Carrie, listen, first of all, thank you so, so much for your really kind words. And I just play, pray, I just play and pray. I just pray a blessing on you and your business in the name of Jesus, I pray that you would claim every inch of territory that God has for you on this side of heaven, that you would absolutely not only claim the territory in the land that is yours, but that you would have a desire to even um, take more and that God um, would have even more for you in Jesus name. So thank you so much, Carrie. Okay. So let's go back to being verified on Instagram. So here's what happened. So I have a hundred thousand followers on Instagram, you guys, a hundred thousand and no little blue check. Now I know people who have 5,000 followers and a blue check. I know people who have 10,000 followers and a blue check. I know people who have 12,000 followers and a blue check. So I say to myself, self, why do I not have a blue check, right? And so if you, um, if you don't know, you can actually apply for verification on Instagram. So if you're watching me right now um, on YouTube, I'm going to Instagram, it's under your settings. Um, I have probably applied no less than 19 million hundred times um, for verification and it never, nothing ever changes, okay? Um, and so here's where you're gonna go. You're gonna go to your settings. You're gonna go to the word account. You're gonna go to request verification. And then it's going to open up some stuff where it wants you to like, um, you know, the last time I looked, which was just in the last couple of months, it wanted, um, you know, a picture of your driver's license or whatever. So anyway, you asked to get verified. Well, I never, ever, 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 ever have ever, ever, ever heard anything back from Instagram about verification. It's just, you know, radio silence. There's no blue check. There's no message saying, sorry, Jen, you don't have enough followers. Sorry, you don't have enough credibility, whatever, whatever, whatever. So in talking with some friends, it, um, it appears that the way Instagram determines verification 
is that it wants to have be able to see lots of like articles and things written about you all over the interwebs. Okay. Well, listen, since I have wrote a book, Fear is Not the Boss of You, I have article upon article upon article. I, I, you could, I can show you articles from different bloggers. I could show you articles from um, different lists that I made, you know, for my book last year that came out. Um, we have been recently, I've been featured in Forbes, um, not once, but twice for um you know my income in terms of my membership site i mean i have street cred in that way okay i have more than enough articles publications magazines i have a book um i have a verified facebook account if you don't know this facebook actually owns instagram okay so you'd think if it if i'm verified on one and by the way i didn't have to apply for that one i just woke up one morning and it was like facebook was like hallelujah it just there was just a blue check there now with that being said i will tell you that i had a couple of facebook accounts that had popped up that were like impersonating me and so when you turn those in um, you know, sometimes that does apparently help you get verified on Facebook. And so perhaps that's what verified me years ago, but saying that all to say, I have not figured out what the trick is to Instagram verification. So I talked to a couple of friends because I have some friends in high places, right? I also have some friends in some low places. So I'm going to tell you about that in a minute. Okay. So, um, I had one friend, for instance, that I was like, girl, um, like no offense, but I've got a lot bigger account than you do just in terms of like following size. How did you get verified? And she's like, oh, honey, I paid somebody $5,000 to verify me. And I'm like, okay, okay, what? Yeah. I know one girl who paid $5,000 and waited six months and she got a little blue check behind her name. And I remember when she told me this, you know, six months, a year ago, I thought to myself, okay, like, I don't really want a blue check that bad. I mean, that's, you know, a vacation. I, I don't need a blue check that bad. I'll just keep on a waiting. And at some point, surely Instagram's going to verify me. Well, then we hit 100,000 followers in the last couple months. Still no verification. I have another friend who um, has a way smaller audience than myself. And so I just flat out asked her, hey, how did you get verified? Did you just request verification? Did you just wake up one day? And she goes, oh, no, I paid somebody $7,000. <laughs> what? What? You paid somebody seven $7,000? Yeah, I paid somebody $7,000 and they got me verified. And I'm like, holy guacamole, Batman. Okay, clearly there's a rack I got going on, first of all, okay? And second of all, like, that's a lot of cash. And she's like, but it was worth it for me just because I needed that for my own social proof. And I'm like, you know what? I get that, right? I get that. Um, but I still wasn't, I, I don't, I didn't ask like, who, who do I even contact? Who do I call? One of my friends had said, I can introduce you to this person. I'm like, you know what? We're just going to keep on waiting. But what happens inevitably is when your account begins to grow, you start getting a lot more DMs than what you used to. So I was starting to get a lot more DMs from people who um, say things like, um, your engagement is miserably low, Jennifer, and your followers are in danger of not seeing your content. Would you like for me to verify your account. Like I started getting stuff like that. I started just getting DMs from, you know, random people. Um, hey, have you ever considered or tried getting verified by Instagram? Um, I started getting, um, you know, just, just things like that showing up in my DM. So I'd ignore, ignore, delete, 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 delete until one day, one day I have somebody that sends me a DM. It was a man. Let's, let's call him Martin. Okay. Let's call him Martin. Um, Martin sends me a DM. Hey, so I'm curious if you've ever tried to get verified on Instagram. Now, Martin must have hit me in just the right, just the right mood, you know, just the right like frame of mind. Because I was like, you know what, Martin, I'll take the bait. Um, so I don't suppose you ever tried to get verified by Instagram. So I sent him back something snarky like, well, I'm guessing you probably realize that I have. And then he sends Zach something, you know, that's kind of nice. And he's like, so let me guess what happened. They didn't verify you. And I sent him back something like, well, what was your first clue? The fact that I don't have a blue check behind my name. You know, and I'm thinking to myself, okay, his names, you know, obviously I'm not giving you his real name. Uh, who, who even knows what the real name was? But I think to myself, um, you know, this is probably a waste of like typing time. But um, let's just kind of see. Just Let's just see. Let's just see. So Martin proceeds to tell me that he works for Instagram and that he can get me verified. To which I have questions. Does Instagram actually know this? Does Instagram know that you do that on the side? 
is this on the up and up? I'm thinking no. And so, um, you know, I'm like, okay, Martin. So what does it cost for one to be verified on Instagram? And I'm thinking, you know, the two numbers that my girlfriends have told me, one paid five grand, one paid seven grand, right? So I'm thinking he's going to say the same thing or, you know, inflation, it is 2021. Maybe he's even going to go higher, eight, nine, $10,000. He comes back and tells me 200 bucks. And I'm like, $200, $200. I'm like, no way. He's like, it'll be done in less than an hour. And I'm like, wait a second, $200 and it'll be done in less than an hour. Oh yeah. I'll have the blue check in less than an hour. Oh yeah. And I'm thinking, uh uh-huh. Okay. Martin's going to ask for my sign on and password. And this is where I would never, ever, 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 never, ever even consider. Right. So I say to him, so what do you need? And he says, he just needs me to send him the $200. And, um, And then he needs the email that I signed up with Instagram. I say, do you need my Instagram log on and password? No. Really? No, I just need $200 in the email that you signed up for Instagram. And so then I'm like, okay, let me think about this. So I wait several days. I get another DM from Martin, basically like, hey, Jennifer, just um, curious. And by this time I've like went and talked to my team and I'm like, okay, now the probability of this going anywhere is like 0%. But what if it's just like 1%? Any thoughts? And my team's like, heck to the no. And I'm like, okay, okay, I know. I know, like I know. I always tell people, no, don't fall for scams. Don't fall for scams. We are, we are smart people and we don't fall for scams, right? Except when we are talking to somebody named Martin and it's only $200 and he doesn't mean to log in apparently. So my team's like, okay, what do you think, Jen? And like, it was so funny because I got them all roped into it. And now we're like emotionally invested in the Martin story, right? And we even had like our own Voxer thread for those of us on the team. Cause they're like, so what's he saying now? <coughs> and I'm like, he's saying, they're like, ask him, ask him who else he's done this for. So I ask him who else he's done this for. He can only give me like one or two people's names. Should have been a red flag, right? Cause he's like, well, the rest of the people, they want to stay, you know, on the down low. I'm like, mm-hmm. so then I think to myself, okay, what am I not thinking of? Like, you know how you just don't know what you don't know. So how can I not know what I don't know? What am I not thinking of? Like, I'm thinking to myself, I'm sure there's something I'm not thinking of, but because I don't know what I don't know, like, I don't know what I don't know. So I think, well, let me ask somebody that would know a teenager. <laughs> So I take this situation to Ava baby. Now Ava baby's 13. And um, so she's not a baby anymore, but I will forever call her Ava baby because I birthed her out of this very body and I can call her what I want. So her name is Ava baby from here until she's 50. Okay. So I ask Ava baby, Ava, surely this is a scam, right? She goes, Oh mom, it's a hundred percent a scam. I'm like, okay, tell me, tell me why you think it's a scam. So I show her the interaction between myself and Martin. (coughs) And I'm like, help me shoot holes in this. Like what can go wrong? She's like, okay, mom, first of all, this is not a real Instagram account. And I'm like, well, what do you mean? And she goes, um, these are not real pictures. His account's only been up since it had only been up for like three months and all the pictures. So I had seen that, right? I had seen that his pictures hadn't been up for very long, but what I had not seen. And if you're watching me on YouTube right now, sorry, I'm having hot flashes and taking off my jacket. But what I had not realized is that there were probably 10 or 12 photos of Martin um, up on his Instagram. And they weren't of him, by the way, they were of him like working, you know, with an Instagram logo in the background. It's just his hands. It's a laptop. It was BS. Anyway, so Ava goes, mom, they all 10 of these photos were uploaded on the same day. See, they all have the same date. And I'm like, oh, yeah. And then I'm thinking, okay, but of course he would have like a fake Instagram if he really does work um, at Instagram and he's doing this, you know, on the side. So I'm like, you know, trying to justify his, his janky account. And Ava's like, mom, don't do it. And I'm like, I know, but it's only $200 and I've spent worse money on worse things. Like what's the worst thing that can happen? Okay. What's the worst thing that can happen? This is what I'm thinking about. 
So I go back to Martin and I say, you know what? I have two Instagram accounts, Martin. Let's see if you can verify the smaller one of the two, that if, if I was going to lose an account, if you're going to jack with something on the back end and things are going to go sideways, I'd rather it happen to my Jennifer Allwood home with 15,000 followers than my big Jennifer Allwood business coaching account with, you know, over a hundred thousand. So Martin, can you verify this account? I can't. Okay, let's go. So I send him $200. And then I start watching the clock. In fact, I went and sat in the sauna. And so he said it would be done in 55 minutes, right? So I like start watching the clock, you know, an hour and a half goes by. I'm like, hey, Martin, what's up? Well, it's taking a little longer than expected. And I'm like, mm hmm. And so, and then he comes back and he's like, um, okay, everything seems to be done. And I'm like, okay, I see no blue check. And he goes, well, check your email. So I check my email and I've got a crazy email a crazy email come through. They made it look really, really good. Like it was coming from Instagram. And this, by the way, is how people get scammed when things actually look like they're legit, um, but they're not. And so, um, so I thought to myself that, you know, it looked like a legit email until you actually click on Instagram. And then it's like, you know, Tom's doing Instagram in his basement.com or something. It wasn't actually that, but you know what I mean? And then I was like, oh, crud. Okay. So Martin then says it's going to take a little while. Well, what do you mean it's going to take a little while? Well, it ended up having to take a day, a couple days, whatever. And I'm, you know, I'm seriously like annoyed. He eventually comes back and he's like, I can't verify this account because there's not a thousand mentions of you on Instagram. And he goes, I thought since you had, 16,000, 15,000, 16,000 followers on your Jennifer Owen home account. Surely you'd have a thousand mentions. I go, you didn't say anything in the beginning, Martin, that we would need a thousand mentions. Like you literally did not say that. And he's like, yeah, you need a thousand mentions. And I'm like, okay, all right. But your other account, Jennifer, we should totally be able to do. Now, this is when I should have been like, nope, I'm out. I'm just going to cut my losses and run. But I think to myself, okay, so can he actually do what he says he can do? Can he actually get a check mark behind my name? Why would you want that again? Well, think about like when you're looking at posts um, on celebrities, for instance, you know how you see like all the verified comments first, all the ones with the blue check mark. You know how if somebody comments on one of your posts and they have a blue check mark behind their name, instantly you're like, oh my gosh, who's this? You know what I mean? It's just there's something in our brains as humans that we're wired to see that like verification and think of that person differently. We just are, we're just wired that way. And um, so in my head, I'm thinking, okay, so I've been out 200 bucks, but I haven't lost like the account. He's still not asking for any login, et cetera, et cetera. So I think, okay, what, what could it possibly hurt? Well, it hurt nothing. Hurt nothing. I sent another $200. I waited another 55 minutes and crickets. Crickets until then Martin starts to ask me to do something fishy. Essentially, he wanted me to, um, uh, he wanted me to wire him some money that he was gonna then wire back to me. Um, but he just needed this one job to be able to feed his family. And if you can do this for me, I'll be forever grateful and look at how I've helped you. And I'm like, helped me? Martin, we have zero accounts being verified right now. And um, and so he like went and did this, you know, whole like begging and then got to the point where it started getting real weird and scary. And I'm not going to joke about it. It started getting scary. Um, Martin turned from being, um, and again, using fake names here, but Martin went from being really kind and helpful. And I just want to help get your account verified because I know it's frustrating, you know, that Instagram doesn't do this to all of a sudden, like trying to manipulate me into sending him a lot of money to be able to feed his family. Or there was almost like this unspoken, um, you don't want to see what I could do to your Instagram undertone. To which my husband was like, block his booty, to which I was like, no, I, I don't want to block him uh, because I do want to see the correspondence that I have with him. My team was like, block him. And I'm like, I'm not ready to block him yet. 
I'm not talking to him, but I'm not blocking him. And that is essentially the entire story. <laughs> That's it. That's the story. The story is this. I, Jennifer Allwood, who knows better, who coaches thousands of women every month on growing your social media organically, that you don't need ads for it, when you have stellar content and you show up consistently and you do the things that make the algorithm happy and you put out good quality content, your platform will grow to the glory of God. Me, Jennifer Allwood, the girl that teaches that. I was like, but what if he actually could verify me? What's the worst thing that could happen? I don't know if you remember that part of my book, uh, Fear's Not the Boss of You, where I even have, I think the chapter is even called that. What's the worst thing that can happen? In my head, I'm like, he doesn't have my login, but he has $400. What's the worst thing that can happen? Well, the worst thing that can happen is, is that everybody around you reminds you, you knew better. <laughs> and that you remind yourself, I did, I did know better. But then you try to convince yourself, but it was market research for the people that are constantly asking me, is this real? And can people actually verify you? Yes, I'm sure people can actually verify you, but it, it's not a guy named Martin. Okay, let's just say that. And it's not somebody that's going to do it for $200. And would I pay the 5000 or the 7000 No. Now, um, you know, there was a part of me that was like, and we shall never speak of this again, team. But then this other part of me was like, you know what, but I don't want to do that to my listeners. Because I know that there are some of you out there who've gotten the same DMs and you wonder to yourself, but what if they can actually verify me? Or you get an email and you're like, it kind of looks legit from Instagram or Facebook. And should I click on it? And the answer is no. And you wonder if you should respond to that weird DM, no. And you wonder if you should somebody send somebody money on the other end, no. You wonder if you actually should pay to have a check behind your name, yeah, no. Nope, 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 nope. And so the moral of the story is, there are slimy people on the internet, there just are. And what's interesting is I think they're getting better and better at figuring out how to get things out of people because I consider myself really pretty savvy on the interwebs. You know, I teach people how to make sure your accounts don't get hacked. I teach, you know, people how to do two-factor authentication and have, you know, second admin set up on your account. And, you know, I literally helped a woman today whose ads account is in Facebook jail figure out that it's because her debit card that her ads money gets billed to has expired and that's what got put her in jail. So like literally I help people make sure they don't get scammed to keep things on the up and up on their social media. And I knew in my knower that as I was paying this random Martin guy, Martin, by the way, that's how I say his name, Martin, I knew that this probably was going to go nowhere. And yet I kept saying, but what's the worst thing that can happen? I don't think I can lose my account. And I couldn't, but I did get harassed. I did get a little bit freaked out. Not going to lie. Not going to lie. He kind of, it was a Jekyll and Hyde thing. It was real, real nice. And then real, real not nice. It kind of took a quick turn there. And so my intention in doing this podcast for you is number one, to show you that I too am human. And sometimes I wonder, well, I know it sounds too good to be true, but what if, what if, yeah, no. Sometimes I too want to take a shortcut to success. I do. I want to verify it. It's all ego, you guys, at this point. It's all ego, and at least I'm calling it what it is. It's all ego. I, too, sometimes wonder if there's a fast track. And if just, you know, paying for it would be worth it. But I'm here to tell you it's not. I'm here to tell you I still stand behind what I've always said. The best way to grow your account is to grow it organically with fabulous content. Worry about the numbers that actually matter and the things that actually matter and not just the things that make you feel really good about yourself that are actually like vanity numbers, vanity matrix. In fact, I'm going to have Rachel put in the show notes. I did a podcast last year about 
um, the numbers you actually should worry about in your business and how so many of the numbers that we worry about, for instance, like follower numbers and things, how those make us feel good about ourselves. But I would rather you had a thousand followers on Instagram who are hanging on your every post, who will buy what you put in front of them, who absolutely love and adore you and no check behind your name, than 20,000 followers, a check behind your name that you paid for in crickets any day of the week. And I mean that. I hope that this was helpful and beneficial um, so that when you're getting some of those weird DMs and you're thinking to yourself, is this spam? 99.9% .9 of the time it is. Just delete it. For real, just delete it. And if you know of anybody who's been like, gosh, I just want my Instagram account verified. I just want the blue check. I want you to forward this to them. I want you to beware of anybody named Martin sliding into your DMs or any other alias that they may use. And, um, and just work at continuing to do really great, authentic work. Just building your account the good old fashioned way and not worrying about verification, okay? And so if this is the kind of thing that you're like, I need to know more about some of the stuff she's talking about with like hackers and how to grow organically, um, you know, how to uh, be, you know, getting a thousand people to talk back to me, rather 20,000 with crickets. Like if this is something you need some help with, go get into my inner circle or on the wait list for my inner circle, depending on when you're listening to this. This is my monthly coaching group. Um, it's called the Creators Inner Circle because you're creating a business in the online space. So go to creatorsinnercircle.com. I would love to have you in my coaching group. I would love to teach you how to authentically grow and what you actually should worry about on your Instagram, your Facebook, and your Pinterest. And um, I'd love to have you in there. All right, friends. I hope that this was a good lesson for you all. Learn from my mistakes. Learn. What else could I have done with that $400? A lot. A whole lot. But instead, I wanted to use it as a teachable moment for you so you don't make the same mistake. I hope that this was helpful. Okay? If it was, do me a favor. Screenshot this. Share it on your Instagram stories. Tag me and let me know, have you ever gotten one of these DMs with somebody promising to grow your followers or get you verified on Instagram? I want to know. Number one, have you ever gotten the DMs? And number two, have you ever considered it? All right, bless you, my friend. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.